I am Jennifer Hansen, and I just want to come through and do uh, the virtual interview with y'all. And uh, to tell you a little bit about me, I have a bachelor's degree in elementary education. I'm finishing my master's degree in educational leadership. Um, I have uh, 16 years of teaching experience, and I have five of those were virtually, so I'm very used to dealing with a virtual environment. Um, so what are some of the skills that sets you apart from other candidates? I feel like that I'm very qualified for this position because first off, I've been a homeschool mom and I've also um, taught virtually and I um, have a lot of experience and I also understand the components that should be put together to make a good lesson and how to engage students in, in an online environment. Uh, describe an example of a teaching experience that made you proud. I always go to Ryan. Ryan was one of my first students that I had and he was reading at probably a second or third grade level when I got him. And I felt like, uh, as a new teacher, I was like, oh, there's no way I'm gonna get this kid reading, but I did. I uh, found things that he was interested in. For example, snakes. I don't like snakes, but I love snakes. So we read books about snakes all the time. And I got him reading really well and was able to pass our state assessment. And he um, was a major success story because I found something that he loved and I helped provide an encouraging environment and he had not been in that and nobody had really taken an interest in him to help him succeed. What are the elements that are important when you deliver an online content to students in a virtual setting? First thing you want to do is find a hook. Um, what is usually what is important to the students? If you're talking about a good U.S. history lesson and we're talking about uh, the Revolutionary War, you may want to have them do like a KOA, KWL chart and say, okay, this is what we know, this is what we want to learn, and then what we've learned. And um, that way we kind of, everybody gets to come in and say, okay, this is what I know about the Revolutionary War. And kind of put all the pieces together and then come up with some questions that we want to learn as we go through the lesson. Uh, the next part of a good online one would be also, you may want to use anything that's uh, visual. You want to use a PowerPoint. You want to use a video. You also want to um, let the students know what they're going to learn. So basically say, you know, this is our objective for the day. This is what we're going to cover. And then go through your lesson. You want to keep it engaging. So you want feedback from your students. Um, so you either want to see it in your chat bar or you want them asking questions at least if you have a students, for example, uh, students that maybe are 20 or classroom, you want to ask each student through maybe the hour and a half that you have them or the hour. You want to make sure that each student has had a chance to answer a question and is definitely engaged in the material instead of just kind of being stuck in the basement type deal. Um, you want to make sure that things are clear on your expectations for the classroom and for homework assignments. And I also would think that you want to be available to parents to answer any questions that you may need, they may have. I think what are some of the other mistakes that other candidates can make in this role is you can get disorganized. And you may not stay on top of this because you aren't in an office or a brick and mortar schedule. A setting and so you may have some, you don't have somebody looking over your shoulder. For me, I'm usually a pretty just uh, pretty organized person. Also, one that's very used to dealing with the home environment. Um, like I said, I've worked from home for five years before, and then I also um, have to homeschooled my children and I earn my master's degree at home. Uh, all online. So I'm used to, to keeping things moving and uh, being responsible for that, um, setting goals and achieving them at home. Why am I interested in this role? The main reason I'm really interested in this role is because I really want to give back to Christian education. I want my, um, my student, I want homeschool students to have the chance to have great teachers and to be able to ask questions and and help any moms out that are struggling in certain subjects, for example, math or English or science. Um, I would love to see, help students succeed. Uh, what do I know about Ridgeway Academy? Um, 
I know a little bit about it. My family and I have looked into it through the years. Um, the main thing that we've done with, uh, I know that you test students when they come in. I know you can create your own curriculum. I know that you'll produce a, a report card if, if for accreditation. I know that you will produce a diploma. Also know that it's a highly successful adventure and um, that a lot of people are using it. Towards expectations of salary, I really don't know what's fair anymore for virtually, so um, probably we'll take whatever you offer me. <laughs> uh, what I like to do, my family and I have antique cars. Um, we have a 1912, a 1914, a 1918 and a um, 1929 and the 29 is a model a and the others are model t's and they are fun they're a blast we're currently working on a top for one of the cars and um that's a challenge i personally like to run half marathons and i just love spending time with my own family and my church family so um i really I'm excited about the possibility of working with y'all and um, look forward to hearing from you.